Funsville members, what's the secret password? Scotty Bobby Doodle. Very good, sweetheart. Oh, like oh, Very you nice, sweetheart. Scotty Bobby Doodle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Scotty Bobby Doodle. Scotty Bobby Boo Boo. No, no, <laughs> not me, Lulu. No, I mean, uh, what do I mean? I mean, oh, start the show, start the show. Everything is all ready, Mr. President, sir. Okay, boys and girls out there, are you ready for Winchell Mahoney time? Yeah! Okay, then, let's sing our club song. It's Winchell Mahoney time, and Winchell Mahoney time is fun for fun. Hooray, hurrah, hurrah, everybody's here, come on. Now what's the secret password? Scotty Waddy Doodle! Scotty Waddy Doodle! Scotty Waddy Doodle! Yeah! Uh, what are you staring at? Oh, uh, uh, the meeting. <laughs> the meeting of the Jerry Mahoney Club will now... What is it? Just... It's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's just, just amazing to believe. Well, what? What, what is so amazing? To, what are you looking at me like that for all of a sudden? Well, I mean, the, your arm, Jer. Huh? I mean, the way you lift it to, to hit the gravel and everything. It's so impressive. Well, gee <laughs> whiz, it's embarrassing. It's just my arm, that's all it is. Oh, yeah, sure. You say it's just your arm. You don't realize what, 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 what you got, kiddo. Well, just look at the way your eyes close. Close them. Well, nothing to it. Nothing to it? <laughs> nothing to it. Look at mine. My eyes just stare right out, just like a couple of raw eggs. That's all. I mean, your eyes is movable and flexible. Move them, move them. <laughs> well, it's easy. Yeah, it's easy for you. He shuts them and he moves them and everything. It's fantastical. I mean, you got little thingamajigs in there to make them shut. Looks like the real thing. Yeah, but, <laughs> but Knucklehead, you have eyes also. Yeah, sure, I have eyes. Yeah, but Jerry, my eyes, they don't shut like yours. In case the sun is too strong, you shut your eyes. And when you go to sleep at night, you shut your eyes too. And if you don't want to look at something, you could shut your eyes. Boy, what eyes. <laughs> hey, what is this fascination you have about my eyes? You don't understand, Jerry. Look. When I'm tired and I want to take a nap, I have to use these here things. Look, see it? I gotta put them on like this all the time. Sometimes I feel like a horse. <laughs> well, why shouldn't you? Sometimes you eat like one. Yeah. Listen, Jar, now be serial. Yeah, wait a second, Nuck. No, I'm very serious with you. I mean, if I'm admiring you and I think you have such wonderful things, you don't have to make fun of me. Well, all right. okay, you're admiring me. I mean, don't don't kid me with you. One, uh, all right, well, if you're admiring me, then stop hitting me. You know, I'm beginning to have a complex. What do you mean? Well, you're so much more superior than I am. <gasps> Knucklehead. Now, you must never, never put yourself down that way. Well, you are, Jerry. Let's face it. I mean, you're a real 100% first-class quality dummy. Mr. Winkle even gave you hair. Look, look, look at real hair you got there, see? Real hair. Look at me. Not even one little piece of fuzz up there. You know something? I always run past the chicken coop on my way home. Why? Well, every time I pass the chicken, all the hens take a look at my head and they all want to hatch it at the same time. <laughs> but knucklehead, don't feel that way. That's your very, very own head. And you should be happy with it. Besides, it's... It's part of your charm. Yeah, sure. Listen, Jerry, I don't like to say this, but your father is prejudiced. I mean, look how great he made you. And look at those fine threads. <laughs> look what he put on me. My clothes are made from old dish rags and all kinds of things. Look at them. Oh, come on, knucklehead. Now, you mustn't cry. You just don't seem to understand. Yeah, sure, I don't understand. <laughs> oh, why was I carved? Knucklehead. Oh, I'm so mad at Mr. Winkle. <clears throat> he gave me a raw deal. 
Oh, come on, please. You shouldn't say that. You happen to be very, very special. Yes, you are special. I'm just a dummy, that's all I am. <laughs> just a dumb, dumb, dummy, that's all. Oh, now, wait a minute, Nuck. Let me tell you a wonderful story. And then you'll believe me that you're something very, very special. Yeah? What's the story? Listen closely. A long time ago, when Winch was a little younger, he lived alone in a small house on Jericho Lane. One day, when he finished work, he came home weary and worn. I'm tired. Oh. We need a little relaxation. I'll call Clara. Maybe we can go out. Clara? Hi, it's Paul. Hi, Paul. Uh, uh, Clara, I was wondering, uh, I, I need a little relaxation. Yeah. What do you say we go out and have a nice dinner and maybe go to the movies? Oh, Paul, no thank you. Not tonight. I have company some other time. But thank you anyhow, okay? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Bye. Goodbye. Uh, what's the use? I need to do something. I don't want to go over to Grandpa's house. Nothing ever happens over there. It's too late to go to the soda shop. They close at 4 o'clock. Besides, I don't want to go there all alone. And there's something I just realized. I'm lonely. I'm your friend. Somebody to talk to. I can't sit around here and talk to my sculpture. Or even this piece of wood. This piece of wood? I'm sure I can talk to this piece of wood. And I can even make it talk back to me. That's it. I'll carve myself a friend. Sure, that's what I'll do. Well, what are you sitting here for, Paul Winchell? Go ahead and carve yourself a friend. Oh, you bet I will carve myself a friend. Oh, this is it. Oh, boy. Then I won't be lonely anymore. I'll make him big eyes. <laughs> <laughs> 